welcome to Downloadable. I am your host, Neil Taylor. This time on the show, we're taking a look at FTL. That's right, faster than light. Now, this game caused quite a bit of buzz when it first came out. It's been a little while now, so I thought I'd dive in and do a quick video on this one. Now, this is available on Steam, and if you are picking up on Steam, you can get it for $6.99, 7 quid, which isn't a bad price. But I actually recommend getting the slightly more expensive 9.98 version because it includes the fantastic soundtrack which you can hear playing away in the background. I am a sucker for soundtracks, especially to video games, and this one has an absolutely fantastic one. You can also pick it up for the Mac OS and Linux as well. And what is FTL? Well, it's a space sim. It's more importantly a roguelike space sim. So it's randomly generated maps, and this game wants you to die. I am not joking, this game seriously wants you to die. It's got a lot of choice as well because, um, well, here you can see the starting off ship. This is the one you will start off with. You can unlock other ships. As you can tell, I've unlocked a few. Not all, unfortunately, and some are harder than others. And the other great thing is, not only do you see this selection of ships, you know, nine here, but they have two layouts, so you're effectively getting double that. So that's quite nice. So if we take the human ship, here's your standard one. And if we move over, oh no, that's the list. Let me go to type B even. There we go, a different style. And this applies for most of them. I think I've unlocked a couple. I haven't unlocked that one. Or that one. And each offer you a different type of ship to play with, which I really do enjoy. Also, they have different weapons, different crew loadout, so again, enjoyable. If you want to unlock other ships, you just simply have to go after some of these achievements here and just get two out of the three, and you will unlock the uh, Type B layout, which I do enjoy. Right, let's... Uh, well, actually, another thing that I do like, let's name the crew, because that's always fun, isn't it? Name the crew. Let's see if I remember how to do this now. Right, well, you're the captain, so let's customise. Let's rename. Well, there's only one person this can be. It's going to be me. And I will spell my name correctly, possibly. Downside of having the microphone in front of the, uh, the keyboard there. Right, who else should we have? Well, every ship needs a grumpy second officer, I think. That you do, don't you? So, this one shall be... Yes, who else? It's got to be Zan. Now, final person, final person. Who shall you be? Who shall you be? I know! This is probably asking for a lot of trouble. Because everyone needs the crazy one, don't they? Hello, Midge. There you go. If you don't know, I do a, a weekly podcast called Game Burst, and these are some of my fellow co-hosts. You can find that over at gameburst.co.uk. All right, enough plugging. Let's actually jump in and play the game. I'm playing on normal, so I'm probably going to get spanked. This is probably not a good idea, but I'm going to put Midge in charge of the weapons. We'll put Zan in the engine room. Technically, if he's a grumpy guy, he should be in medical, but hey, yes, Star Trek jokes. So basically, if you've ever fancied being a starship captain, this is the game for you. You get to manage all your power systems and your subsystems, and it's a lot of fun. This is basically like being a spaceship captain if you're Han Solo. Yeah, this yeah, that's what I requested. It's more Star Wars, you know, uh, The Empire Strikes Back than anything else. Oh, God, and we're already fighting. Great thing here is hit the space bar. It gives you a little bit of time to think and decide where you want to shoot. Admittedly, I'm going straight after the shields and the weapons. It's kind of interesting. You can sort of work out what's going to be in the other areas that you jump into, but that requires upgrades. So sometimes you are jumping blind, and I've already just noticed they've taken my goddamn O2 out. Yes, the O2 goes out. You can't breathe. Bastards. Oh, and he's now trying to make a run for it. I do not allow you to run. You cannot run from me. I'm going to kill you. And there you go. You're dead, sucker. There's not much in the way of a story. Basically, you've come across you <laughs> come across a message from the rebel saying they're going to invade, and you, the goal is to get across so many sectors of space and deliver this message, and eventually take on a huge freaking boss. I don't expect to see that in this video, especially on normal, because uh, everyone wants to kill you. By the way, you may notice this. Most of the time, everybody wants you dead. Yeah, you have to make it across. Uh, I think it's eight sectors of space, something like that. I have done it, but admittedly, I've only done it on easy, because I am not joking. This game does really want you dead. I'll try and take the weapons out. 
I do love the, again, I've talked about how much I like the music, but I also really do enjoy the art style as well. Another one that's trying to run. Why does everyone want to run? Oh, doesn't matter anyway. You're dead. Should have run sooner. You can upgrade your... Oh, I'm stuck up. Hold on. You can upgrade your ship here. Everything's... All upgrades are bought with scrap here. But the downside here is you can do your ship up with a scrap here that you, uh, you you get from doing, you know, from combat or doing quests. But also purchasing upgrades is done with scrap as well. So you've sort of got that balance there of trying to work out, do I go for upgrading the ship or do I buy some new weapons or a droid control or anything along those lines. Uh, one thing I highly recommend you do if you do, you know, get into playing this game and don't take my word for this. I am a terrible, terrible player of this game. But just do upgrade your blast doors. It's that simple. Click on, accept upgrade, and all of a sudden your doors are upgraded. So that's nice and simple. Here you can take a look at the crew. You can even sack them if you get more crew than you actually have space for. Equipment in here, you can see my missile launch, my blast, my sorry, my burst laser. Here, you know, if I bought a uh, drone control system, would go here. You've got a little bit of cargo, some augments as well. Some ships start out with augments, some don't. Sometimes you come across them and you get them through completing quests. I really do enjoy this one, this game. I have to admit, I um. Oh, what we got here? You receive request for oh, been destroyed. Oh, let's. Okay, I've got a quest. Let's go do a quest. Oh, we'll be over there. Oh, I can jump straight there. Also, you've got to constantly keep moving forward because the rebels are pursuing you, and you don't want to be caught by them. You really don't. It 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 just it's a horribly horrible, messy event if you get caught. You don't want that. Like I said, this game is available. I mean, if you're into game soundtracks, do get the 998 version. If you're not so fussed, you can get the standard edition and you can buy the soundtrack separately. I mean, one of the reasons this game got quite popular, it was funded by Kickstarter. And it is a little fantastic game from a subset game, so. And it is available on, you know, across the Windows platform, the Mac platform, and Linux as well. So, hey, Linux, you get a really good game. Hopefully I'm doing a good job of selling this to you. I mean, there's not much else to show you. It's it's one of those games that really gets by on its simplicity, but by being freaking hard, it will punish you. And I keep saying that, and I keep winning, which shows you I'm actually having a spot of luck here, and I've just noticed my engines are down. Better send back, Zam back into the engine room. You know, considering I actually put Midge on the weapons, I'm doing surprisingly well. There's a good variety of weapons as well, ranging from, you know, big-ass missile launchers to faster firing lasers to hull beams to ion cannons for taking down shields. So, again, this game really has struck a fantastic little balance between being very simple to play, very, very difficult to master, or I'm just really, really atrocious at it, so I'll let you make your mind up there. And I haven't died, so I'm, I'm feeling good. There's not really much more I want to say on this game, so um, I heartily, heartily recommend this. It's cheap, and it is fun to play. Alright folks, this has been Downloadable. I will see you next time.